Boston's Rock Station, WAF. Uh, it's usually the Mistress Carrie show, but now it's MC and DMC. Is that the name of the new afternoon show here yes, at WAF? Yes, You like that? Yep, the MC and DMC or, show. Or the king and the mistress. The king and the queen. <laughs> the mistress queen. Daryl uh, DMC McDaniels from Run DMC joins Woo! us in the studio. Thank you so much for having it's me. It's nice to have you I'm back. So, I'm so happy I was able to come visit. We haven't seen each other in a really long time, at least in the studio. I think we've right. bumped into each other a couple times out and about somewhere yes. but because i'm always in boston you're it's always one of my here. favorite places ever you're, you're the consummate new yorker that but you spend an awful lot, lot of time in the enemy territory a lot, a lot. <laughs> talking about yeah i love the boston red sox yeah pretty soon you're just back, gonna get adopted it gets back well i think you have already adopted I, me I, it I, gets back to new york dmc was on the radio saying in boston saying he let the red sox <laughs> So when I land at LaGuardia or JFK or Newark or whatever, I get these mean looks. <laughs> and they're like, yo, how could you do that? But you get a pass. Yeah, you get you're a, DMC. That's right. You're DMC. So the rules yeah. are completely different. Exactly. Well, exactly. I but as a matter of fact, I was a Mets fan because I lived in Queens anyway. See, we don't hate the boy. Mets fans the way, the way that we the hate Mets the Yankees fans. The, Met, the Mets are like the Boy Scouts. <laughs> You just love them. You know, you're, right, think about it. They, the Mets is like the Boy Scout. Pretty much. David Wright, like he's the lead Boy Scout guy. <laughs> They're just so good, you know? The uh, the last time you were up here, we were talking about mm -hmm. you getting ready to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall right. of Fame. So that had to be like 08? Something, something like that, yeah. Right. So wow. You're in the Rock Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I know. It's crazy. You're thank in you the Rock so and Roll Hall of much. Fame. No, it's it's such a, it's so um incomprehensible. Is that the right yeah, word? Yeah, that's say the it? right word. Yeah, you absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Inconceivable. Yes. I mean, after it happened, everywhere I go, people go, Congratulations. And I'm like, For what? They give me the middle. Oh, Rock oh, and Roll, yeah, thank you. Right. Thank you. No, but put it like this It's one thing to be really inducted in them, but. It was a privilege just to be considered worthy enough to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before the iconic rock gods who we used to steal their music, remember? <laughs> we used to sample everything. I you know, know what I'm saying? Walk This Way was a breakbeat. Oh, we Will Rock You, Queen, Rolling Stones. We stole everything, <laughs> rapped over it. 95% of people on earth throughout the history of creative arts was like, they're stealing music. It's not real. So just to be considered worthy enough for induction was a big, big thing. But then to get in is a whole nother level. Well, then you're, you're you're in the audience with, you know, right. I mean, you're sitting next to the guys from Metallica. Yeah, and into I, the Hall of Fame with Metallica. Yeah. 45 was the age, not the caliber. <laughs> and to have mm -hmm. Eminem and go up us. on stage and right. say, none of us would be here without Run DMC, it's, it's, it's like says huge. a lot. Right. Well, the, the, the video director for Walk This Way was genius. For the scene when Steven Tyler takes the mic stand. Yeah, and absolutely. That was an idea. That that was his idea. John Small is the d video director's name, I believe. John Small. I hope so. John, not John. John <laughs> Wall is a so basketball too. player. John Small. But um, what happened in that video really happened in life. Yeah, I mean, you know it's, it's, it's one of those culture. things that, like, we were talking about it, you know, some of the security guards downstairs oh, who right, right, don't, right. you know, that don't really listen to rock music right. all that much. Do you have any idea how cool I am to those guys Probably right now? Really because cool. I'm really cool because like you're in here really with me right cool. now. I took my son at nine years old. He discovered Kiss from a video game. And he was <laughs> like, because he knows this when he was nine. He knows I know everybody. Daddy, you know these guys? <laughs> this is Kiss. I love it. So I brought Kiss greatest hits. I mean, he knows everything from that to Beth. Uh, Kiss came to Jersey for his 20th birthday. So I took him to see Kiss. He got to meet the guys. They went on stage, put on their show, and it, my son was crying. It, he said, I, I waited 10 years for this. And to so, see Gene Simmons cough right, up blood. Right, and yeah, exactly. And to see the explosions. And I was like, yo, do some with, you know, all the, but you know, the thing with the, the rock for us was, even though we sampled it, we're not like the rappers today that don't care about anything. When we sampled an artist, we studied and did research on who the person was. Right. You know you're, what I'm saying? You've so, always been a huge, huge fan of rock music. I mean, you've got a Beatles a t shirt on right, right now. You've That's always why I loved said that I'm stuff. the king. I didn't say I was the king of rap in 85. <laughs> the rappers, man, who wants to be a king of rap? Right? I don't want to be no king of the rap. 
So, you know, as a little kid, the reason why, though, as a little kid, when I was growing up in Queens, New York, we had AM radio. And on AM radio, you know, they played the Jackson 5, Slime of Family Stone, James Brown. But they also played the Doobie Brothers, Led Zeppelin, Jim Croce, Harry Chapin. Radio was a lot um, different back then. It was then. way different. And it, um, and it was something about the folk rock and the so-called classic rock gods of today that caught, you know, Neil Young, Crosby, Stills, and Young, and Nash. It was just something about their music. Like, I didn't care about Afros, High Heels, and Soul Power. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is the guitar and the drums and, and you know, um, John Cougar, Mellicamp, and, you know, they, they just sung about, it was just more alive to me. Yeah. You know, the soul was cool, but it was just like, you know, it, it, also, because a lot of it was sing-songy, like, right. you know, we all live in a yellow sun in the <laughs> town where I was born, lived in But then it was also those songs like um, Ohio. And the funny thing is, I had to be a grown person to remember, D, the song Ohio is about the Kent University thing that was on TV when, so rock and roll, I did an interview and I said rock and roll is validation of the existence of our lives. It is. You know what I'm saying? And, it, the, and it shows just by how much the, the music is, is lasted. Right. How Cla much how much people really associate, you know, I say this memories. To right. It. I say this quote and they say, say that again. Classic. You know, when classic rock classic doesn't mean old. It means better than everything that comes it's after true. it for eternity. Though. It's true. It doesn't end where, you know, maybe in, in 30, 15, there'll be something that's going. No. <laughs> no, everything it that ends wherever classic rock ends. I think uh, does classic rock end. I'm talking about the, the pre-recorded music. Wherever it ended, you know, Tom Petty just got a number one album. Yay! Right, for the first time. Forever. Right. See, I follow rock. You know, I don't care. <laughs> do. See, the only reason I follow hip-hop is to figure out whose butt I can kiss. <laughs> In person and on stage. But, I mean, rock is just so much fun, man. Well, I'm going to play this. Yes. We're going to come back and give out a code word to give away an instant thousand bucks. And cool. then we're going to talk about your comic books. Okay, yes. And we're going to go under the covers a little bit later on, too, right? We got to get one of the covers. All right.